here you see a plant growing, a climbing plant that's coming up through the soil and you'll notice as the tendrils find their way through just watch it, it's quite clever really but this is in slow motion remember so um, <laughs> you normally wouldn't see this if you didn't have a time lapse camera but it just shows you how intelligent plants are, how they find their way around and feel their way around into cracks and crevices you see that like fingers and they, they've got adhesive on those, this is a vine and they will stick like a kind of glue to hold them up against a wall or a tree here you can see it you see that? just like us trying to cling on to things I say it's in very slow motion and you wouldn't notice it with the naked eye but uh, when you look at it like this through time lapse photography you can see how precise they are and of course all this is done so that they can get towards the light it's called phototropism the urge of a plant to get towards the light now you see the tendril searching around for something to cling on to until it finds a branch and that will help it pull itself up Isn't nature wonderful? <laughs> but of course, as I said, this cannot be seen with the naked eye. But there are plants that, oh, there's the flower, finally opening for the insects to pollinate it. But of course, normally we can't see this, but there are plants that actually move before our very eyes. In this series about the sensitivity of plants in this garden earth, I have uh, already explained that... Um, the Venus's flytrap and the carnivorous plants, uh, how by sensitivity and touch, they actually uh, consume and prey on insects and even small animals. And then um, I showed you the uh, tumbleweed, which rolls about the desert. So it moves from place to place, spreading its seeds. Uh, and now here's another interesting little thing. I mean plants they use all sorts of ways to survive. So have a look at this. So uh, here's Mimosa pudica, a sensitive plant as they call it. Uh, this has got a very clever way of protecting itself because if uh, an animal comes along and it sniffs the plant to eat it what happens and the whole plant traps it so the animals think it's dead and uh, it also helps in if it um, if there's strong winds it stops it from losing too much moisture and then after a little while of course it'll uh, all come back again. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Sensitivity of plants, as I've shown you, uh, in all sorts of ways. And uh, as I said, the um, the light phototropism. Um, then plants are also uh, affected by gravity. Uh, the roots go down, which is geotropism. So there you go. If you're interested in things like that, that's fine. But. Um, Here's a, finally, here's another plant uh, which is known as a telegraph plant which is light sensitive and heat sensitive and it actually fans itself when it gets too hot. Don't believe me, have a look at this. It's a telegraph plant 
which moves about in the most odd ways. Now this is a time lapse as you can see from the changing light patterns but at the same time it does move around as though it's fanning itself because uh, of the way the sun hits it, it moves around to try and keep cool actually in fact. So it's quite, uh, quite an amazing plant really. There's a whole collection here of different plants but the one right at the back there is the uh, actual Desmodium or Telegraph plant.